no cake for kitty cats. Hey guys, what's up, what's going on? My name is Britt and this is the Banana Diaries. So today we're doing something extra special. So tomorrow, September 12th, is my birthday, so I decided let's make a Sleeping Beauty birthday cake. It is an entirely vegan birthday cake. Completely eggless, dairy-free, it can be made gluten-free, soy-free, nut-free, and yeah. I don't know why, but my favorite Disney princess growing up was Sleeping Beauty. I think I just like the fact that there were fairies, and my favorite scene is when Fauna is making the Sleeping Beauty birthday cake for Aurora for her 16th birthday. I'm turning 26, but who says that you cannot have a Disney birthday cake? So yeah, I'm gonna show you how to make this four-tiered, awesome birthday cake inspired by the Sleeping Beauty movie from start to finish, starting with the cake and ending with the actual lighting of the candles. But the full recipe is linked down below in the description box, so be sure to go check that out if you want to make this cake as well, and I hope that you love it. Let's get baking. So I basically scaled my vegan vanilla cake recipe up so that it is essentially six cups of flour that we'll need. I know it sounds like a lot, but just check the recipe post and I have all the measurements there. So we're just adding in the sifted cake flour now, and you can also make this gluten-free as well, along with some sugar and then some baking powder and baking soda, and we'll just give this a nice whisk. You're going to need to whisk it for a few minutes just to make sure that all the ingredients are fully mixed and incorporated because there is so much flour in there. So just take your time whisking making sure that everything is mixed together and then we are going to add in the room temperature ingredients including the vegan buttermilk some applesauce some vanilla extract and some coconut oil and then we are also going to mix this for a few minutes making sure that all the flour is fully incorporated into the wet ingredients you can also use a stand mixer if you have one that might actually help and will use a little bit less arm energy um, definitely a little bit of an arm workout nothing wrong with that but you were just going to mix it until all the flour is fully incorporated there are no more clumps and it is a smooth and even batter the batter into four cake pans. So we have two eight inch cake pans that are lined with parchment paper and lightly floured as well as two six inch cake pans. So you're going to need about the same amount height wise into each pan so that's about two inches of batter and we're just going to smooth it over. You can add on some cake sleeves as well to help them evenly bake but we're going to bake these cakes and once they are fully cooled we will begin making all of the vegan buttercream frosting. So we have about four cups of vegan butter in there as well as some vegan cream cheese and we're just going to sift in the powdered sugar, basically make it like any other vegan buttercream recipe that you've seen on my channel. And then we are actually going to set that aside and cut the layers in half so that we actually have cake layers total. So I'm just going to slice these in half and they don't have to be perfect because we do want a kind of topsy-turvy cake like the movie. So we're actually going to ice them now that they are cool. So I am adding a little bit of icing in between, making sure to save the buttercreams that we have just enough to frost the cake and give it that messy look that you see in the movies like when Fauna is trying to make the cake and she actually, fun fact, she doesn't bake the cake apparently and so we are actually using a baked cake here. Um, we're just going to ice all the tiers so you're going to repeat this three more times for each tier and then we are going to chill these before we actually layer it. So for this cake, we're also going to need to dowel it. So you didn't actually get to see that I had doweled that cake, but I'm gonna show you here. So basically we're just going to insert the dowel into the cake, measure it and score it, and then we will cut it and insert the dowels into the middle of the cake. And we kind of want to stack it in a sort of slightly curved way to give it that topsy-turvy look, you know, that Fauna has when her cake is sliding onto the ground, but we don't want the cake to slide onto the ground. So we're making sure that it's still stable enough. And note that you're not going to dowel the last layer because you're not stacking anything on top of it. So once this is completely done, then we actually will use the remaining buttercream frosting and make a vegan blue color. I just used some vegan plant-based blue food coloring here, but my friend actually has a video on how you can use red cabbage juice to make um, a blue food coloring. So I'm just going to ice it really sloppily and messily, and then we will kind of smooth it out with a offset spatula to give it more of a finished look. This 
this truly made me just so happy to make. It felt like I was reliving my childhood. Um, Sleeping Beauty was one of my favorite movies. I'm actually not sure why. I think I just really love the fairies and I love this scene in particular. So I think it might have sparked my love of baking, except I actually bake cakes. I don't just leave them as raw batter like Fauna does. But um, let me know down below in the comment section if you want to see more Disney creations. I had so much fun with this and I actually have a few ideas already thinking about doing like a Cinderella carriage cake or something with the princess and the frog or a little mermaid. I don't know. Let me know down below in the comment section what you think of that. And yeah, I just wanted to show you the finished product here. We have some of the action shots of lighting the candles and blowing them out. And yeah, I hope that you love this cake. We have to have some birthday cake taste testing. So this is the vegan vanilla cake. It is my all-time favorite vanilla cake. I know that I sound like so boring that I like vanilla cake, but it is really good. So if you're a little hesitant for the vanilla cake, I will say that I've had an ultra chocolate lover say that this is his favorite vanilla cake recipe. That's pretty hard to come by because he really, really loves chocolate cake and he loved this vanilla cake recipe. Wow. Alright guys, if you did this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and the bell notification if you'd like to see more videos like this. And to find the full recipe, again, that is linked down below in the description box as well as pinned in the comment section, so be sure to go check that out. Also, let me know if you made this recipe. I'd love to see your beautiful creations. And let me know what kind of Disney-inspired cake or cupcake that you would like to see next. I'm always down to make like super creative stuff. It gets you thinking more like a kid a little bit. And I honestly think that we need to remember what it's like to be kids again. I think that the one thing that we should never lose is our imagination because the imagination is key to everything. Yeah, I am going to go celebrate my birthday with the rest of this cake and I hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day. Remember that you are an incredible human being. You deserve to be here and I'm always rooting for you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hi, oh, hey, little sir. Hi. Are you going to be my friends? Or oh, you want cake? No cake for kitty cats. <laughs> no, no, no.